This is question number 24, A, part 2. The question says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equal to 0.5. So I've marked on a point x is equal to 0.5 here with a red dot. The tangent to the curve at the point when x is equal to 0.5 is a straight line which touches the curve and is at right is at a right angle or 90 degrees to the curve at that point. So how do we find the tangent to the curve at this point? Well first of all to find the equation to any straight line we first have to find the gradient of that straight line and we're going to use the first derivative of this curve to find the gradient. So let's recall the equation of this curve y equation of a curve y is 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus px, which we learnt in part a1, is 12, so plus 12x minus 1. And we're going to have to differentiate this, or first find the first derivative, so that's dy by dx. And remember, when we're differentiating, we multiply the coefficient in front of the x term by the power, and then we decrease that power by 1. So when we differentiate this first term here, 2x cubed, we'll get 6x squared. That's because 2 times 3 is 6, and when we decrease the power of a cubed term, we get a squared term. Our second term for the first derivative is going to be minus 18x, that's minus 9 times by 2, and x squared decrease the power by 1, or divided by x is simply x, plus 12, that's going to be the third and last term, because we lose this minus 1 term. So we've got dy by dx, that's 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. We're going to have to find out what dy by dx is, or the first derivative, at the point where x is equal to 0.5. That's this point marked by the red dot. So we're going to substitute x is equal to 0.5 into dy by dx. When we do that, we get 6 multiplied by 0.5 squared minus 18 times by 0.5 plus 12. That is equal to... 6 times by 0.5 squared, that's the same as 6 times by 0.25, or 6 divided by a quart, divided by 4, which is 1.5, minus 18 times by 0.5, which is 9, so minus 9, plus 12. And that is equal to 4.5. So that gives us not only dy by dx, or the gradient of the curve at the point that x is equal to 0.5, but it also gives us the gradient of the tangent at that of the curve at that point, x is equal to 0.5. So we now know that m, or the gradient of the tangent at the point where x is equal to 0.5, is 4.5. We also know that the equation of the straight line is given by y is equal to mx plus c. We have our m value, that's this value here. We also have our x that's given to us in the question, that's 0.5. All we need to work out now is y and c. We can get y by substituting x for 0.5 in this equation for the curve. So let's do that. So y when x is equal to 0.5, that's what we're trying to find. So y is equal to 2 times by 0.5 cubed minus 9 times by 0.5 squared plus 12 times by 0.5 minus 1. And what does that give us? That gives us 0.75. So now we have our values for y, x, and m, the gradient. Now we just need to find out what c, the y-axis intercept of 
the tangent is. So let's rearrange y equals mx plus c to make c the subject. When we do that, we get c is equal to y minus mx. So let's plug in our values for y, m, and x to find c. So we know that y is 0 0.7, so we're going to do 0 0.7 minus 4.5 multiplied by, so that's 4.5 multiplied by 0 0.5, and we subtract all of that from 0 0.75. And when we do that, we get minus 1.5 as our c. So now we have all our values, so let's plug those into y equals mx plus c to get our final answer for the equation of the tangent to the curve. The equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equal to 0 0.5 is y is equal to 4.5x minus 1.5. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more content from this channel.